Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with a no news and commentary. 50 year old Timothy Francis, who was a, uh, a detective of the DC Police Department, was shot and killed at his home in a murder suicide by his wife. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play this news clip and I'm gonna continue the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Like tight like that. These Waldorf neighbors reeling from the news that 41-year-old Christina Francis allegedly shot and killed her husband, 50-year-old Timothy Francis, and then herself Friday evening, and what the Charles County Sheriff's Office is calling a murder-suicide. D.C. police confirming Timothy Francis served with MPD for 20 years, most recently as a homicide detective. The Charles County Sheriff's Office said a family member of Christina Francis tried calling her and her husband and couldn't reach either of them. So then they checked the house and found both of them shot to death. She had just walked past me, walking her dog. But then, like an hour or two later, that's when I heard the police sirens. I've known him just two years, and I'm going to miss him. Yeah. So every time I turn that corner on Friday, I'm going to look over and just imagine and playing his music. Demetrius Wilson says that's how he met Tim, blasting go-go music on his front lawn. I just knew he was a family man. He loved his kids, and he, he was just, uh, he loved life. Both neighbors say they had all hung out a few weeks ago, and both Christina and Tim seemed happy. You never know what people go, go through. D.C. Police Chief Peter Newsham said in a statement, mourning the loss of our colleague and friend is extremely difficult. Detective Francis spent two decades protecting the community from violence, and to learn that he was the victim of a homicide is heartbreaking. I think what we need to do as a community is come together. In Waldorf, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9. Okay, y'all, and well, there you have it. Now, of course, you know, Timothy Francis' wife is, as you know, a white woman. Um, there's been a lot of conflicting things on why this is happening. Um, and I think there's been reports that, you know, that Timothy Francis was caught cheating on his, his wife, wife with a black woman. We don't know if that's true or not. We just, there's been rumors that that had happened. But this, at the end of the day, y'all, this is a tragic story. That Timothy Francis, who been with the D.C. police as a detective for a lot of years, and then, you know, as, as of course, you know, as a homicide detective, now caught himself in a homicide by, you know, killed by his wife, and then all of a sudden, she decided to put the gun into, you know, herself. So the thing of it is that there's kids involved in this, and the kids would not, not only would not see their father again, but they were also not going to see their mother again. So their kid's going to grow up without a father or a mother at the end of the day. But regardless of what happened to this case, I mean, again, both lives have lost. And the thing of it is, is whether the guy was cheating or not, uh, we don't even know what really happened. And this is really a domestic dispute as, as, as it happened. But at the end of the day, y'all, the, the child, their their kids will not see their parents ever again, you know. Um, my thoughts and prayers goes to the families that lost the that lost their the loss of loved ones here. But it shows you, ladies and gentlemen, that no matter what the motive was, what if he's cheating or if he caught cheating with his with his wife, uh, with another woman, regardless of what happened, this is really a tragic story at the end of the day. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this case. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, then Lions didn't sign off. Deuces.